22 minutes to nine. It is the eagerly awaited final episode of the hit BBC One drama Ashes to Ashes tonight, starring, of course, Philip Glenister as Detective Chief Inspector Gene Hunt, the old style cop who's not averse to using a bit of rough stuff to get results. Mm, we'll be trying a little gentle persuasion when we question him about Gene's relationship with colleague DI Alex Drake. The evidence, according to this clip from tonight's programme, suggests there's a distinct lack of trust between them at the moment. Why have I pitched up in his world? Any minute now, I could be dead. And if he finds me out, what would he do? What would he do if he knew the truth? I have to fight. I have to fight him. But what does Gene Hunt represent? I, oh God, I've got to get out of here. I have to get away from him. I, I hate this place. Maybe Summers can help. But Hunt must never know. Tiny doesn't know anything about King Dong, but he's scared, Gov. He says the rot runs right to the top and they are everywhere. Trust no one. Yeah, trust. Tricky thing to come by. Well, mm. Philip Glenister joins us now. Good morning. Good to see you. Morning. Nice to be here. Yeah, we get preview tapes, which means that we've got to see the, uh, the final. It? Yes, mm. it is fab. We won't uh, give too much away, of course, but just give us the gist of uh, what does happen uh, tonight, obviously, without giving any endings away. Um, well, basically, it's a sort of continuation from last week's, and we've got this, uh, this heist that's going off, and um, Gene is in a dilemma as to who he can trust. And it, it comes to kind of um, almost breaking point tonight in his relationships with, um, with all of them, really. And there's kind of lots of twists and turns, and, uh, and I think it's a great ending, yeah. yeah. He looks a bit of a broken man, doesn't he, particularly when he hears that, that tape with um, Alex. Mm. Yes. Questioning how much she, she can trust Actually, him. Actually, uh, uh, yes, and she's sort of, and uh, Jean doesn't understand the, the context of what she's talking about. She, uh, he thinks that, uh, well, they've kind of lost trust in each other in many respects, or certainly yeah. Jean has lost trust in, in Alex um, in tonight's episode. So, so it, uh, it's, uh, there's so much that goes on and happens in an ep, and, you know, uh, it's, it, I don't want to give too much away, really, because it is a cracking yeah, ending. Mm. So. You're never quite sure what's going to happen. Yeah. Uh, there are two series of Life on Mars, if I remember correctly. Yeah. There have been two of Ashes to Ashes. That's four altogether for you. Yeah. Oh, he must be getting ready to hang up his... Uh, hang up my... Hang my, up handcuffs. Yeah. My, my, my boots. Um, no, we are going to do a third series. Uh-huh. It's official. Um, we will do one more, in, as in to what context, uh, whether it's another eight eps or... A special. I've no idea. Eps, you know. Episodes. Episodes. Sorry. And how Technical much TV speak. How much <laughs> input then, uh, given that you've been with it for, for such mm. a long time now? How much input will you have on that? Do you have on that? Um, I have a say. You know, I put my oar in, whether they choose to listen or not. Um, I had a sort of say about the second series, um, in terms of having a through storyline, which was the police corruption storyline, and just getting a bit darker, getting back to the essence of what Life on Mars was about. Yeah. Um, and the great thing about doing a final series, which will definitely be the final one, the third, um, is that you can kind of, from a writer's point of view, you can throw everything at it. You know Including I mean? a bit of romance, maybe? Drake and Gene? Well, we'll have to see. I mean, you know, it's up to well, Matthew and Ashley, who, who are our sort of lead writers and, and created the show, so it's really up to them as to how uh, I wonder they you, take it. Because I wonder sort of, if you thought, well, you know, you created this very, very strong character. Mm. But if you thought, well, in the fourth series, God, it, that's all, you know, people are going to think, that's all I do, when it clearly it's not. Oh, what, playing this part? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I mean... Well, it's been such a sort of um, career-changing role in mm. many respects, and it's such a beautifully written role that while the writing is that good and it's, it's fun to play, then, then I'll keep doing it. I mean, you know, but there has to be uh, a shelf life, and I think um, we've all sort of agreed that uh, it will be three and out and bow out. Yeah, mm. OK, basically. well, let's uh, indulge in another clip then uh, from tonight's mm. programme. Well, uh, another way out. I wish I did. The big night on the gin slings. Lafferty did not kill PC Summers. It was... It was a bent copper. No, it was Lafferty, his M.O. No, you don't understand. It was a bent copper and I have to stop him. Well, right now, we need to find out where Doyle's guns went and who they were for. There's a major blag going on and I want to nab it, Drakey. The Summers case can wait. I have to stop this infection. Time's running out for me, Gov. Yeah, and time's running out for moi. That's French. Sorry, I'm under pressure. <laughs> <laughs> so, it's a great, great tight script, yeah. isn't it? Oh, they're fantastic. Delivers they do give me lines. some fantastic one-liners. Yeah. I mean, Gene Hunt's a hugely popular character, and yet, sort of, you know, 
very rough, quite violent, uh, politically incorrect. Mm. And so why do people love him so much? For all those for reasons, reasons you've just said. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> because think... he does the things that other people... I, I think he sort of speaks for um, um, a generation of people what they want to be and what they want to say, you know, and... Uh... It, it, it's, it's sort of my, my alter ego in, in many respects, and it's, so it's, it's a form of therapy going off to play him and letting it all out. You, you know, have just been quattroed. Do you find I mean, there's a laugh out loud moment just because of the writing. Uh, mm. so, so do you find yourself then as, a, as you having to rein yourself in a lot of the time? Oh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I, I mean it is a tough one, but uh, I'm not as quick and as witty as Gene Hunt, and I don't have a writer walking around the streets with me, unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> and, and speaking of the streets, how easy is it to film, uh, particularly when you do the car chases through London, without actually sort of getting CCTV cameras in? And I mean, it is tricky, and it, it gets harder. I mean, we were finding this even on Life on Mars when we were going back to a location and a, a warehouse, and it'd been knocked down, and you know, a block of flats had been put up in that quickly. So, what we tend to do is we tend to find a, a quiet Saturday morning in the city of London, when when because it's kind of a bit of a ghost town around that part of the world um, on a Saturday morning, which means we have to work Saturdays, unfortunately. Um, and then we, uh, we, we don't tell anybody and we take the quattro out and we fire it up and we go around the block a few times and stick a camera on it. <laughs> you, have to be, you have to be very careful, though, because it's such recent history, but although it is history, people pick up on every last thing. That wasn't in 1982. Oh, you get that all the time. Yeah. Well, yeah. I, did I see a computer on your desk? In, yeah. yeah that, that it was, was 1982. It's not that long ago, they Bill. They didn't have computers. I remember it. They did. They, they had didn't. used to play Pong on it. Yeah. Remember? The pack. pack yeah. Man. It's a bit. You I'm, look you at the size of it. No, it's when massive. You to play this pong, computer. You had to put 50p in the machine in the pub. <gasps> you didn't have that one was in space your space invaders. I would have thought that oh, would yeah, be one of the more right, basic things. Yeah. Uh, where where will we see you end up then in the third series? Then where? I have no idea. Will you be jumping into the future? Um, I, again, I, I I I really don't know. If I could tell you, I probably wouldn't. Yeah. Because <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the beauty of this series is is and particularly with the fans, you know, and um, there's a lot of sights. And uh, they have their theories, and which are kind of fun, so I wouldn't yeah. want to ruin anything Nice for to keep us guessing Absolutely. until next time. Yeah. Lovely to see you. Thanks very much. We look forward to the third series then. Thank you. Thanks for confirming that as well. Great. Yes, the collective female heartbeat of breakfast viewerships will now just go down. <laughs> one or two degrees. <laughs> ashes to ashes tonight, BBC One at nine o'clock. Excellent stuff.